Have you ever wondered why different peoples of the world have burial canons, to which everyone is strictly obliged to follow? What can happen if they are violated? They say that the sleep of the dead is sensitive, especially the first time after death. Anything can disturb him. A worried soul will definitely make itself felt alive. Most often this happens directly at the burial site or nearby. That is why there are so many scary stories about cemeteries, especially about rural ones. Today I'm going to tell you about how ghosts become, why do cemetery workers not respond to knocking on the door at night? Where in Moscow can you meet your double? Where do dogs disappear to in the city of Oral? And what happens if you look inside the hood of a woman at the Smolensk Cemetery in St. Petersburg? Of course, most often the souls of those who died a violent death do not find peace. For example, visitors to the famous French cemetery of Père Latches have repeatedly met ghostly figures wandering among the trees. This is associated with a large number of buried victims of the Holocaust. Similar stories are told by residents of Odessa, who live near the House of Trade Unions, where more than 40 people died in a fire in the 2014th year. Researchers of the paranormal explain this by the fact that at the time of death a person experienced so much physical, emotional pain and wanted to stop it so much that the soul left his dying body and remained in our world. Hey, I'm not going to beat around the bush. You have to subscribe to the channel and like it so you don't miss new videos. Also, earlier, due to poorly developed medicine, it happened that people were kept alive when, for example, they fell into a state of lethargy. Many people know the story about Nikolai Vasilyevich Gogol, who was afraid of being buried alive all his life. And, probably, his fear was very justified. It is said that during his reburial, nail marks were found on the inside of the coffin lid. This is one of the most terrible and painful deaths, after which the ghost can return and begin to take revenge on those who made such a mistake. As I said at the very beginning, it is important to observe the rituals. The soul cannot leave the earth if the body is not buried according to custom. In this case, the ghost will not rest until the error is corrected. It is good if it is possible to establish the cause of the ghost's anxiety, but more often it happens that the unfortunate soul remains wandering and scaring the living. Therefore, cemetery workers have one clear rule, never respond to a knock at the door at night. One day an employee of the cemetery in Oral disobeyed this rule and opened the door of the gatehouse. An old man stood on the threshold, from whom a strong smell of rot emanated. The light fell on the face of the uninvited guest and reflected in the empty eye sockets. The watchman abruptly slammed the door in front of the ghost and immediately fell on the bed without strength, lying in oblivion until morning. The next morning he missed one of his dogs. The other guards told them the same thing. Someone sometimes knocks on their door. Taught by bitter experience, they do not open, but they see strange shadows in the windows, many armed and many legged. And every time after such a visit, one of the dogs disappears. And the inhabitants of one of the villages in the Kursk region are prevented from sleeping by cemetery ghosts at night. Allegedly, at night they get up from the grave, walk along the road, scaring people with loud screams. The festivities of the dead begin immediately after midnight. At the same time, the same dead people come out of the graves, two men and one woman. The men died when they were 49 and 64 years old, and the woman died at the age of 57. A group of parapsychologists came to capture this phenomenon. According to them, 
at about 20 minutes to 12, a dull noise was heard in the specified graves. Then the ground began to move on one of them and something shapeless began to rise from there. The researchers began photographing the phenomenon and turned on a powerful flashlight to improve the quality of the shooting. In response, there was such a roar that the ears of those present were blocked. The light clearly had an effect on the ghost. The cloud was drawn into the grave and the earth began to fall back by itself. The noise became more and more muffled, and then it stopped altogether. Of course, there are no photos or audio recordings left. There are similar stories, perhaps, in every city. In St. Petersburg, at the Smolensk Cemetery, they see a woman in a raincoat with a hood and a black hole instead of a face. She was first seen in 1963. Then three teenagers were walking around the cemetery at night and climbed a tree to hide from the rain. They are looking, and a woman is walking towards them. For some reason, the guys suddenly quieted down and began to watch her. She was wearing a raincoat with a hood, short rubber boots on her feet, and two large bags in her hands. The woman approached the grave sink about 8 meters away and put the bags on the ground. She did not see the teenagers, because they were at a height of two and a half to three meters. One of them suddenly dropped a box of matches, and it hit a tree with a noise and fell to the ground. The woman raised her head and the whole company was just dumbfounded. There was no face under the hood, just a black hole, emptiness. In the same second, she disappeared, dissolved, as if she had not been there. The guys were shaking violently. Trembling with fear, they did not descend to the ground. They wanted to run, but they couldn't. My legs felt like they were stiff. It is not clear whether because of this case or not, but the fate of each participant in the story was not the best way at all. One boy died after the eighth grade during the city holiday scarlet sales, he fell from a bridge onto a barge floating along the Neva River and crashed to his death. The second one went to jail pretty quickly after school, and the third friend began to complain about health problems and very strange situations. Once he almost drowned, entangled in fishing nets, and another time a TV crashed right in front of his nose, falling from the ninth floor. Muscovites also have a lot of legends related to cemeteries. At the Domodedovo Cemetery, as the watchmen often tell, crying and moaning can be heard at night from the side of the 60th precinct. One day a new guard went to check and saw a girl and men in flight uniform standing at the grave and crying. As soon as the watchmen came closer, they just disappeared. He saw that the entire crew of the crashed plane was buried here. Rumor has it that the watchman quit the next morning. And at the Mashkinsky Cemetery in Kurkino, a relatively new metropolitan cemetery can be found. Myself. Visitors often say that from afar they see people who look like themselves. To meet your own ghost is a very bad omen. It is believed that the secret of the occurrence of such ghosts is in local anomalies. Although, if you judge it like that, any cemetery is an anomalous zone. Well, or we ourselves endow the burial places with mystical meanings that arise in the head because of the fear of the unknown, namely before death. Our belief in a ghost reinforces the idea of the existence of an afterlife, that our being is not finite. But just in case, don't look strangers in the face on the cemetery road.